I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. So if you find some tart some tarts. So if you find some cards that resonate with you in this weekly general tarot reading for you Sagittarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right Saggy? And if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this re reading, reading, I cannot speak to y'all apparently Sagittarius. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe as well Sagittarius because it does help out my reading channel a lot and I was super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my channel in that way. Sadly. And also, before you, we get into this reading, I just want to sit here and remind you that I believe tarot cards, tarot readings, at least with my weekly general readings, Sagittarius, they're just here for some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, right? Never making a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine. So with all that in, set in mind, Sagittarius, let's just get into your reading before I keep on stumbling my words. So, your objective cards for this week, Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Rings and the Four of Rings coming in for you. So, with this dynamic, no, I don't think I got into it. The objective card is the energy that you're going to be exuding this week through just the everyday events that happen in your, in your life. So, with this type of dynamic, uh, Ace of Rings or in Four of Rings, this is for Pentacles, um, for those that are not familiar for this tarot deck. So, this is essentially seeming to be a uh, Sagittarius where... It's like you're you're going to be identifying where it is that you need to be putting your investing your energies into more where it is that you want to essentially put your stock right so definitely start paying attention to the signs of what is kind of being revealed to you look at the details on things it does seem to be like um spirit or whatever you want to refer to sagittarius um so any events or details are going to be revealed to you or shown to you that kind of gives you an idea of where it is that you want to lean into more, where it is that you want to let go of stock or sell your stock, right? And put other like stock into something else, right? Think of it in that way. And by stock, I mean your energy, your time, money, if literally, right? Nine or not nine of swords. Eight of swords did come out for y'all as well, Sagittarius. Now, this is like a loan a loner card without like went out on its own or shuffling. So this is like a separate message, um, specific message for it as well. It does seem to be like Sagittarius, you guys are breaking free from some type of barrier, right? Especially since if you go along with the narrative with that four of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, ident by identifying it, it seems to be like some type of detail shows you where it's just like maybe you've felt stuck or in a rut for a while Sagittarius and now you're kind of coming out of it you're being shown details of where it's just like oh, okay this is where this is where your next step is right for some of you Sagittarius you probably have felt like you haven't known you haven't had a sense of direction of your life for a little bit and so it does seem to be this week is going to happen definitely um so the other two clarifiers I pulled were the Tower card and the Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands for you Sagittarius. So in this dynamic, things are like, it does seem to be like you're realizing you're letting go of certain things. You're stopping, you're putting a halt, halt on energy or not energy, you're putting a halt on where it is you're putting stuff like... How would I put this, Sagittarius? I'm struggling you finding the words for it. It's like you're able to, you're realizing this week where it is that what's been holding you back. Something that's been like a drain for you. And it's almost like you're realizing that obvious answer is right in front of your face this entire time. Now, what what is that obvious answer? I don't know. Could it be like a different person, right? With that four of wands? Could it be, it does seem to be like a situation like, you finally just answering your calling for the thing that you've been, spirit's been trying to draw you to or that you've been kind of leaning to for a while now, but you just haven't fully put your energy into it. So let's just say Sagittarius, like you've had like this idea to, um, you've had some type of project, right? You've always been, like people always would come and be like, oh wow, Sagittarius, you're a really good drawer. You're a really good writer, right? We'll do writer. Um, but you've never put energy into it. And now it seems to be like this week, something is shown to you or something kind of like hits you where you're just like, oh, like you finally clicks to you. It's like, oh, I should probably do something with writing. 
and you're done. And then it's in that moment where you're like, you quit your job that was distracting you. <laughs> Obviously don't do that. But it's in that drastic sense with the tower card where it's just like, you're letting go of like, and like you're finally allowing yourself to live in like your true calling with this four of wands um, rather than keeping ignoring it really. Like you're just kind of breaking free. But I feel like like with the eight of swords, like you kind of could always like go through it. You just needed to lift the blindfold, right? So that's why I say it's like, it seems like it was always there in front of you. You just had to like be open to it. You just had to like make the decision to no longer be blind to that decision or remain ignorant to that opportunity. You just needed to have like a tower moment that kind of maybe perhaps for some of you Sagittarius has forced you to um, move on, forced you to wake up, forced you to open your eyes on, right? So let's get into this reading for you now. Uh, such a tear is like we haven't already. <laughs> um, we have the Page of Cups coming in for you. Now, right off the bat, the meaning of this card. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sati. Mm. Drinking water, well, flavored water. Honestly, it's pre-workout. <sighs> so, what does this card mean? This card, Page of Cups, by definition, is about the deepening of a current situation or a person or bring a coming forward of a new opportunity or new blessing, right? Or a new person. So let's get a little bit more detail. I will try to cover both bases for those that it resonates with the person and those in opportunity. But for simplicity's sake, we'll just, I'll speak in terms of opportunity, unless it really points towards a person. So let's get some clarification on this Page of Cups. Let's see what's going on here. What is deepening? What is coming forward potentially, right? It's usually either or. It's usually not like both deepening and something new. The pages also represents um, the start of something new. So whether, even if it's like the per current situation with the person, maybe like, um, like a business partner, for example, right? Maybe like a new approach, a new project with a business partner. But let's get into clarifiers. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Definitely speaking seemingly for like, what is this? Page of Swords. Page of Swords. So yeah, it definitely seems to be Page of Swords and Page of Cups. <sighs> yeah, it does seem to honestly be like some type of I know I spoke of a uh, opportunity, I was going to use opportunity, but it does seem to be like um, new business opportunities for some of you Sagittarius or new opportunities in general through you. I feel like it's kind of like related to this breakout experience, right? Like you finally are now allowing yourself to be a writer. Sagittarius, this is the story that I'm getting. It's like you're now allowing yourself to be a writer. And so now that you're leaning further into that calling, further into that energy of being a writer, Sagittarius, you're now um, putting active effort towards trying to communicate with other writers, trying to co communicate with like publishers and stuff like that. With this Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, this is powerful in the sense that like you're going out of your comfort zone and communicating with and doing things that you normally wouldn't do right? You're really breaking free of your like comfort zone in your general mode. I don't feel like you're going to be like, you're definitely not doing th the things that you usually do. And so with this Queen of Pentacles as well, this is a card that's been following you for quite some time, Sagittarius. You and the Queen of Pentacles are pretty best friends. Um, this is definitely, again, why I feel like it's about heavily, it seems to be like a, some type of business kind of deal or something just because of this sense of, um, it's like just the sense, Sagittarius, of where it just brings you peace and stability in the sense that you no, no longer have to stress about certain things and it feels like your plate, it just like lessens. Um, yeah, so let's close off this row with one last card. Let's close off this energy. Six of Swords, but this is all requiring you to put distance between you and something that you were working on prior, something that you're putting energy into prior. You definitely are releasing something, Sagittarius. And until you release this thing that you, it's probably been trying to escape your life for a while now, I don't see this next part happening for you. So let's now continue on your reading with the judgment card. This is the action card, right? The action card and kind of taking that risk, right? You don't know what's gonna happen. You kind of are fearful in a sense, right? Let's see what's going on, Saji. Okay, Saji. Something's going on with y'all. What's up? All right. 
Let me show y'all's clarifiers for the judgment card. So we have the Three of Pentacles coming in. We have the Justice card coming in. And then we have the Hanged Man. So Major Arcana out the wazoo. And also, this is like been, this is like your moment, Sagittarius. This is your moment. Um, it feels genuinely like you guys have resisted for... It's like you guys have resisted Sagittarius and going down a certain path, taking a certain exit for a while. You've been ignoring this calling that you, has always been present in your life in some capacity. But it's like you never allowed yourself to lean into this more. You never entertained that energy more. Maybe it's because... Here's the thing, too. With the Judgment card and the Three of Pentacles, these are both cards where it's just like... You care a lot in the sense of, what do I mean by this, Saji? It's like, you think highly of it. So that's probably what also intimidated you. So let's just say, yeah, like you always just like, oh, maybe I'm just like, that's not for me. Writing's not for me. Or it's just like, this person's too good for me. This person's too busy to entertain me and stuff like that. It's in that sense. But I see this hanged man in the justice card so powerful, very powerful, especially with the judgment. It's also powerful because it's like, I'm geeking out. <laughs> Uh, and this is not even for me. I'm not even a Sagittarius in the slightest. Um, but with this, Saji, I see you guys finally just leaning into your calling more. And that's what brings your life more into balance. Um, similar to Aries, actually, in different cards. Um, but you're just seeing things in a new way. I don't, like, genuinely, Aries, I feel like this is, like, your moment. And by moment, I just mean, like, I feel like something just unlocks in you a way you finally just start living in your truth and it's through living in your truth you're not even like your old way of doing things your old thinking your old life in and of itself eventually as a whole seems to just shift entirely it seems to like you go from just like this place of like waking up every day already feeling fatigue and, and struggle to now you wake up every day feeling completely stable and abundant and a pentacle is closing out that row i feel like this really is like the if anything to, that you want to take from this reading Sagittarius definitely take this as a sign to um lean further into what it, whatever it is that you're leaning into um taking action towards your calling really pay attention to the details this week Saji um because this seems to be an extremely pivotal week for you guys just in terms of yeah, this is just big for you. I feel like this is just a big <laughs> experience. I feel I don't feel like I need to refine it more because I feel like most of you guys get it. If you don't, then maybe this just reading isn't for you. Because I'm identifying a Sagittarius that's really at a transition in life. Now, I know that's such a fluff word when it comes to tarot readers, but I truly do see this, you guys, in a huge transition. So, Devil card. Let's get some clarifiers on this, right? Devil card, I see this as like the habit. I don't see this as a person, right? I see this as like a habit, uh, something that just kind of like impede, impeded your life in some type of capacity, right? So the clarifiers we have, the strength card coming in. Then we have the king of swords coming in. Air energy following you. Um, and then we have the fool card. So truly, Sagittarius, this is such a storyline of like you're identifying whatever your devil was right for the simplicity of the message sagittarius let's just say your devil is the uh insecurity right let's just say you always were insecure which would make sense especially with that high thinking this situation is just like better than you are on a higher pedestal than you are or out of your league right that was your insecurity that's your devil right i see you finally taking action towards this king of swords and the strength card comes in as this rational thinking now this king of swords is, is a very pivotal energy for you sagittarius just because anytime i get going to i just start <clears throat> i apologize when i start speaking a lot <laughs> Saji, i just end up like sucking in a bunch of air for some reason because i guess i just am not able to speak if y'all can't tell um with the strength card in this king of swords you're shifting your thought process on things you're shifting and again similar with the hanged man as well like you're working through this you're finally like working through this um insecurity of yours that's probably been with you for quite a while with the strength card this is like the card of shadow work right Saji, you're finally working on yourself and i say this king of swords is a pivotal pivotal card for you sagittarius because you transition from being insecure right 
And this King of Swords not only helps you in this transition from being insecure from before, right, to transition you from the devil, and then you transition to the new major arcana, which is the Fool, right? Which is the energy you really ideally want to be in, Sagittarius, because the Fool is just living in your truth. You're leaning into your truth more, living into your passions more, answering your callings more, right? All in that nature. And so these two cards actually just came out before when I was going to close out the row, so I, before I even started shuffling. And it makes sense, air energy following you more. So I'll just say this right now, you could be dealing with an air sign as like a cliche, right? As tarot readers will say. But this also air sign does represent like your mental state, your mentality, like your mindset and all that. So definitely a huge mental shift. But Ten of Swords and the King of Swords following you <laughs> to close out this reading. So, or this row. So as I said, King of Swords is a very pivotal card for you. I feel like this is, the King of Swords is... Dare I say, I know we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles as your objective card, but I feel like you're going to most resonate with this character this week, this archetype, uh, Sagittarius, because um, he's just helping you in this transition uh, into this Ten of Swords, healing from that pain, healing from this insecurity, right? You're finally coming out of your rut, Sagittarius. You're finally coming out of your rut and you're finally um letting the sun shine on your skin it's like you're finally removing the blackout curtains in your room after weeks or even months for some of you um not even not even calling you out honey this window right here <laughs> this one's been blocked out for months for me darling so there's not even shade but yeah you're kind you're finally it's almost like for simplicity's sake a lot of you guys are coming out of a depression or like a depressive weight that was on you for a long time now that maybe some of you guys weren't even aware of like how heavy it was it was just one of those everyday like blah right so let's close out this reading for you now uh Sagittarius but I'm so proud of you guys just as a side note um this is such a moment though but uh eight of pentacles uh Sagittarius for your last card so eight of pentacles this is all in a place of learning this is this usually is a card about going back to school right but i feel like this is just learning for you but let's get some detail on what it is that you're getting inside on what are you learning about like there's so many avenues this could be about right so so let's see I looked over there because one of the cards went flying right when i was about to speak all right so, you get four cards, uh, Saji. So, let's look at these clarifiers for your Eight of Pentacles, right? Let's break, break this down. We have the Knight of Cups for you, Saji. The Six of Cups. The Seven of Swords. And then the Page of Wands. So, Sagittarius, it seems to be like... This may not, I acknowledge this right now is not going to be, this isn't going to be for everybody, Sagittarius. Uh, and I'll only get to this and I'll get to the general side of it. But I just get this sense of where it's just like, for some of you guys, with this Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, this is what I'm really focusing in on, is this dynamic of such where, let me show you. It's like, Six of Cups is usually about the past and like, also like receiving, right? Receiving and just like an, ex uh, an exchange, right? Eight of Pentacles is talking about learning. So it seems to be like, perhaps for some of you guys, someone from your past, right? With the Six of Cups, you, there's some type of like, maybe let's just say maturing from both sides and understanding. I do, and keep in mind with the Six of Cups, the exchange seems to be the scene here, theme here, because I feel like this person from the past, Seven of Swords, there was some type of distrust or some type of just not the right time when it came with the person, Saji. We'll, we'll just say that. With Seven of Swords, it was just like maybe right person, wrong timing, or just whatever, right? How you, you know, whatever. And then Knight of Cups, it seems to be like there's some type of, they come in, back into your life in some way. And this could be a situation, some past project that you had energy into at one point. No, we'll just talk about it with this person. Keep it on track. Knight of Cups, I, feel, I see them coming back and starting anew, right? And I don't know how this happens, right? Maybe you take action, maybe they take action, right? Someone has this Eight of Pentacles moment, and it just showed to me you, obviously, Saji, because it's your reading, reconnecting and being like, can we have a fresh start, right? I see this as like a fresh start in something. Um, that's the side message. And... 
I'm kind of stick. I'm gonna stick with that. I know this was such a. I said like I would get into like a general thing, but I genuinely I don't feel called to putting any more cards to this. I don't feel like going into a different narrative. Like y'all saw me, heard me in this process of being like, okay, let me just make it like a general statement rather than a general part of it um, for Sagis rather than a specific storyline. Because it's like keep in mind, it's like hundreds of people are watching this, if not thousands, right, Sagi? So it's like I acknowledge the scenario is not going to be the exact. And such a detail is not going to resonate with everybody in their life. But three of cups, yeah, close out this energy. There's some type of reconnection happening. Some type of reconnection. Um, someone that you thought was out of your life, some someone that you thought was out of your chapter, like no longer going to be relevant in your chapter, is coming back into your life, coming in so strongly. So, yeah, Sagittarius, that's the cards that I have for you. Your crystal of the week, stone of the week for you to connect to, that would be a boast benefit for you, is the carnelian. Now, just look up at the card itself, but I know carnelian is really good for deepening of, like, opening up your heart chakra, welcoming in abundance. Um, really good for financial, I know that. Uh, I want to say there's something revolving around love. But look at this stone. Work with this stone. Um, but yeah, Sagittarius, I love you so much. Thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you. If you found a card that resonated with you in this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Sagittarius, I do the weekly general zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot at all, or maybe even if they're not, honey, be sure to share my videos with them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, Sagittarius, I love you so much.